It's a different kind of weather now that we've been tracking all morning long. Pinpoint weather alert continues. Keep an eye on this radar behind you, Michelle, for the last couple of hours, and all of that just seems to be getting closer and closer. Yeah, it is. We've got a line of strong thunderstorms that's approaching uh, Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts here within the next couple of hours. Currently outside, it's quiet, but it is a weather alert day as we watch a strong cold front, numerous showers, heavy downpours, potentially severe thunderstorms in the forecast for the daytime today. It's going to last through a good chunk of the day, too. We, of course, have a lot to talk about with Hurricane Fiona. It'll bring high surf and rip current concerns to our area starting late today and lasting all day Friday. And you know, follow Rise 903 this evening with chilly winds in the forecast for the end of the work week. Here's our satellite and radar. This is the strong cold front, and there's been a line of strong storms that are getting organized here from the central part of Massachusetts now down through the Hartford area. Some of the reports coming out of western Mass is for over an inch of rain in about a half hour's time. So those are torrential downpours that'll lead to street flooding and poor drainage flooding. The good news is most of the morning commutes wrapped up before that. That pushes into our area. So late this morning and this afternoon, those storms are going to be moving eastward, arriving in the Providence area around 10, 1030 in the morning, and then continuing to slide east Boston around 1030 in the morning for the arrival time of those storms as well. Right now, though, it's dry, warm, and breezy, upper 60s and low 70s. It's not going to get a whole lot warmer. Once that rain moves in, wind's going to change from a southwest direction to a northwest wind, and that'll actually bring falling temperatures to the area for the afternoon, but lower 70s expected through the morning with showers and thunderstorm concerns increasing as the morning goes on. Then this afternoon is just an unsettled afternoon for us. A lot of rain and thunderstorms through at least four or five. Then skies start to clear out, and by that point, the temperature is dropping to the lower 60s this afternoon. Here's that hour by hour forecast showing that first batch of showers and storms rolling across the area, and then this second line approaching for the afternoon. This is at two o'clock. These have the potential to be severe. Damaging wind gusts leading to some power outages. One of the concerns. Four o'clock, you can see that back edge of that precipitation sliding out of southern New England very quickly. So we may even catch a sunset this evening, be the final sunset of summer with the solstice again and after nine o'clock in the evening. Clear skies early tonight, and we'll see temperatures falling. 40s expected when you wake up tomorrow morning, but the coldest morning of the week is going to be Saturday morning. I'll show you that in a moment. We're expecting wave heights to build today to as high as five to nine feet, especially into tonight. Already seeing some five foot waves in the buoy off of uh, Long Island this morning. Buoy southeast of Block Island showing four foot waves. Tropical satellite, here is Fiona this morning, still a category four, keeping a close eye on what's likely to become Hermine in the Caribbean now. Could be threatening the Gulf Coast or Florida, Cuba area next week. Right now, though, we're still tracking the impacts of Hermine as it approaches Bermuda. It stays to the west, but this is a large storm, and so they'll get hurricane conditions on the island today and tonight. From there, it races north and eastward and will take a turn to the north, which will bring it up to the Canadian Maritimes with hurricane conditions expected there. For us, we see those waves. Uh, battering waves and rip current concerns, gusty winds tomorrow too, with gusts 25 to 35 miles per hour. Keep that in mind when you see these temperatures. It's going to feel very chilly, almost late fall like, with mostly sunny skies, dry conditions Friday and Saturday. Sunday is the warmest day of the weekend, low 70s, but it comes with increasing clouds and a chance for some showers by Sunday night.